everybody, this is Praxis, and there's a heck of a lot happening here on site, because my dad's here, River's here, I'm here, and Amber's here, and while River's mostly entertaining himself, the rest of us are all working. We're gonna end uh, this video up with, to see what Amber's doing up there, but I wanted to kind of just go around and hit everything. Uh, my dad is putting on the uh, purlin uh, on this uh, eastern greenhouse uh, roof. Uh, that's been going pretty smoothly. We've got some experience with that, and uh, it's really easy for me, because he's doing all of it. Uh, we decided to break up the labor this way because I'm really petrified of heights and uh, whenever I work up there I work really slow and uh, I'm not terrified of heights uh, in terms of uh, staining boards. So I've been staining boards, my dad's uh, been doing this. Let's jump down to see what I've been doing over here. Right, here's one board behind me that's uh, waiting to go up. You can see I'll just stop right here for a moment. You can see uh, back behind you how much has been done. We're past the window uh, and getting into the, the front of the house area. Uh, the longest board we have is 16 feet long, so we're having to you know, stagger them. Everywhere where I have a board um, joint, I am doing it on top of one of these pieces of strapping so both uh, ends can be uh, screwed down. I'm cutting both boards at 30 degrees so that instead of it being a gap like this, it's a gap like that so it'll shed water. And I'm putting uh, extra seal between the joint just, you know, because that's going to be kind of a shady, moist spot when it rains. Uh, so that's my, uh, my approach to trying to make it so that, you know, we're not getting water going inside. Over here, uh, I am uh, prepping a bunch of boards. Uh, you can take a peek uh, on the ground. To my left, which would be your right, I have boards that have uh, two layers of seal on them, and these are boards that I just did that only have one layer of seal. I'm um, putting on one layer of seal, letting them dry for you know an hour or two, maybe a little bit more, uh, depending on whether the sun's out. It's been in and out all day today, uh, and uh, and then I put on a second uh, coat of seal before they actually go up. I cut them to the exact size, and then that's when I'm I'm putting the seal on the top and the bottom, and uh, you know giving them the second coat before they go up. And you got to let it dry a little bit before you put it up, uh, uh, which does kind of slow things down a little bit. But uh, you know, uh, you know, it is what it is. Let's head over here. We can see more stuff uh, as we go in through this greenhouse. Oh, actually, I did this this morning. All the windows are in, are in on the house right now. I preemptively did this when it was too cold to do any seal work. Did that this morning. Uh, look up above you. You can see it's a bunch of boards up there. Uh, it is still gonna be a greenhouse, but what I've got up there is decking so that I can start working up on that gable end up there. Uh, and that makes me feel a lot more safe working that way. We're gonna try to rush upstairs this river. See if we can get up there before the camera times up, because as you recall, we only have five minutes on these video runs. Alright, and Amber, I think she's working right behind this door. Boy. So there you go, I didn't talk in there because you couldn't have heard me anyway, plus I think uh, Amber's probably camera shy. I've got that whole wall, all sheaths, things are really starting to move. Still a lot left to do, but things are moving. That's it, thanks for watching.